Why don't I do gold? Short answer, I'm a silver whore. If you are new to um, my Instagram feed, hi, my name is Chantal Bancroft. I am the fashion designer of the urbantiger.com and I design and produce statement jewelry for women who firstly consider themselves to be phenomenal, secondly a shame fighter and thirdly a rainbow unicorn. And in this video today I'm going to talk to you about why you <laughs> why you haven't seen any of the stuff that I make in anything other than silver. So I, I, I've thought about this and I, and I was thinking, you know, generally people say, psychologists say that we are a product, adults are a product of their childhood, right? So I thought back and I thought, what went on in my childhood for me to have this like crazy obsession with silver? And I wouldn't, I mean, maybe crazy obsession is a little, I'm going a little too far. But um, if you, I absolutely adore silver and it's not that I don't do gold I just do silver so um, I've got my notes here on my lap so if you see me looking down it's because um, I want to make sure that I get everything out to you and tell you the story just as it is so um, my parents are from Barbados and um, they immigrated over here my mum came over first when she was 12 um, uh, mid late 60s and then my dad came over um, to, to marry her in the late 70s mid mid 70s because two years after that I came along so it would be mid 70s and um, my dad was a lot of things in Barbados uh, <laughs> he's a very creative guy um, other than having a black belt in karate he um, I don't know what the true, what the full story is if this was something that he did all the time. Like he wasn't a jeweler, but I know that um, he liked jewelry. My dad likes jewelry. And he made um, two rings for himself. And one of the rings I, I have and I always wear. So this is the thumb ring. He made this ring for himself. And I always thought that um, this ring was made out of platinum. So growing up, I mean like, the, he got, the guy wore this ring all the time <laughs> he wore this ring all the time and if you know my dad if you know Winston then you you and you've known him for like the last 20 30 40 years you would have seen him wear this thumb ring and he made this like he made this by hand in Barbados I don't know the whole story like why he made it or anything but he made it and and it's a ring that I absolutely love and adore and he made two rings one was a signet a signet ring and this one and I, I, I wanted this one right so it's beautiful and it says a lot about me it's got like a, a seam going down and it's it's been hammered on the inside it's, it's beautiful so growing up like from little to big so my dad wearing this ring and I was just obsessed first of all I didn't know that rings could be worn on your thumb because how comfortable could that be and it was just so unique, right? So unique. Make sure I'm still recording. Yeah, super unique. There's that. My dad, in um, my dad, um, proposed to my mum. They were they were pen pals for about a year, and they had never met each other. She was over here, and he was in Barbados. They had one picture of each other. And that picture was enough for them to fall in love. And he proposed to her in a letter. I know, right? <laughs> now that we have Instagram <laughs> and, we can, and Facebook, and we can check people out, right? Back in the 70s, there was no Instagram. There was just pen and paper and snail mail. Anyone my age knows. And I still love snail mail. I still love receiving mail. So that's how they fell in love. And then he came over and they got, in, they, um, got married. And her engagement ring was beautiful right so i'm i'm a tot i'm probably about six or seven or maybe five and hearing the story of like them getting engaged and i've been hearing this story on on for years and years and years and years and years and her engagement ring was made out of now i thought her engagement ring was silver at, at my my tender years of six and seven i only knew two things silver and gold right gold always came or gold looked yellow and silver looked white right 
when she was telling me about her engagement ring it was really really beautiful it had this really simple got like little diamond setting and it had little ridges on the side it was absolutely beautiful and then she told me like I assumed it was made out of silver she told me it was made out of white gold so I'm like what gold can come in other colors <laughs> right other than yellow are you for kidding me right so then i have the engagement ring which is beautiful and i secretly always wanted and then i have this ring right so these two are wearing these the engagement um his ring and she's wearing her um engagement ring um and i'm just like i'm surrounded by silver and i love it and i love it and growing up i did have silver i did have gold things right um obviously i had big gold hoops because who doesn't growing up i had those hoops remember those hoops um that look like bamboo come on like if any 80s chick here remember early 90s those bamboo hoops they just they're big and thick and chunky i had all of that but silver silver for me was so refined it was so beautiful it was so delicate that kind of and i say silver but anything of that white variety anything in white metal just was so refined for me so beautiful you know and it looked so expensive and then knowing obviously that um gold can come in um in white i was just i was just blown away and i like i said i always thought this was made out of platinum i always thought this was platinum but i went into boots one time and this um this guy said oh i like your ring is it silver and i said i don't know i thought it was platinum and he took the ring from me and like in about 30 seconds he told me that it's actually silver and i was like how do you know and he said because it's stamped <laughs> on the inside at that time i was not making silver jewelry i did not know about the stamp on the inside i know what that's now so yeah it's stamped with um um 925 so it's pure it's silver so you know that i believe that's where my obsession for silver came from and one of the things that i do love um a lot about it is how um good it goes with all different skin tones gold is lovely right and from my sort of official unofficial research art skin different races well i'll be real art skin black women what they like to wear i find a lot of black people wear gold and i don't know if it's because of our history or you know because we owned a lot of gold way back when the ancients and it was obviously it was stolen from us from the colonizers but i don't know whether or not our obsession with gold is because um it has that sense of um opulence right i'm not sure if it's that i mean it may not be but i just noticed that a lot of black women tend to wear more gold than they do silver i am the kind of black woman that doesn't wear that now i'm not saying all black women do i'm just saying generally um they tend to and um <laughs> they tend to wear it so i've spoken before about um road testing my earring so before an earring goes onto the shop it gets road tested for about somewhere between um three to five maybe six maybe even eight months and road testing is a term that i use to say i put it through its paces so i will wear this earring as often as i can i'll wear a pair of earrings that i design as often as i can and i'll i do that to make sure that it that I work out all the kinks in the design so if the if the metal is too thin or if it's too soft or if it's too hard or it can't go through the um the piercing well enough or if it doesn't withstand pressure or if it bends too easily I put it through its paces so that I can make changes and alter the design and then put a product out that I know that is going to serve you so in 2018 I began designing the best the Bathsheba collection and these are one of the designs from the Bathsheba collection and I was walking around it was summer right I had a prototype and I was walking around and I was putting it through its paces right first few weeks of road testing and I went to um, a market and it was a craft market and I'm walking down this craft market and I see lots of different people people with jewels making jewelry and everything and I make I see this woman in the back right and she's selling um, <laughs> she's selling homemade like pickled spices sauces and um, they're, they're, they're like hot sauces so I make a beeline for that because I like a little heat with my food and um, I stand in front of the store and I forget that I'm wearing these I'm wearing these these are um, wave these are wave hoops they are big y'all they are really really big you can see I won't even bother give you measurements you can see that these are really really 
big if you like making a statement these are the ones for you but i just had i just had them on i didn't remember i have them on because they're so lightweight they're just like i just looking at the sources and asking this woman and trying to figure out where she's from and i learned that she is uh jamaican um and and we're conversing a little bit just a little bit because i'm really thinking about buying one of her sources right and she says to me oh i like your earrings so i'm like i've got the bottle of sauce in my hand like this and i'm like huh oh yeah <laughs> yeah thanks i forgot to say one of the other reasons why i wear these earrings for three or four months is also to kind of figure out how like how um well liked the design is so it's a bit of market research in a way it helps me to decide whether or not the design needs to be altered just to get just to see if it impacts people you know like if someone calls me out on the street seeing me wear this and says hey which has happened before with a pair of earrings someone has called out from across the street and said i love your earrings right that's a good response for me so i wear it to see whether or not it gets a good response if it's liked so on and so forth so anyway back to the story i'm looking at this like homemade like hot sauce and she says oh i love your earrings and i'm like oh yeah thank you thank you very much thank you very much i am um, i make them but these aren't available in the store at the moment because they're a new design the first thing she says to me is they are really nice but you know and if she touches her own earrings she's wearing really big hoops and she says you know i i only wear gold are you going to be doing them in gold? So I was like... <laughs> I was like... I was like... I was like... Mm, I like silver. So I said to her... So I said to her... I said to her... Um... Yeah, you know, I'm thinking about things. I'm just testing them out at the moment. Just staying open. <laughs> I'm thinking about things. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> that's how I am. So <laughs> that's how I am about silver. <laughs> but <laughs> I just remember my face going all stush and crumpled up. That's how I am. You you may not have actually seen this um, on the body. Um, I don't think I've got a picture of this up on the store of, of on the model. I don't think so. So this is your opportunity. Get a good look see at it. They're really, really big. And this is the option in Sunset. If you are a silver whore, like my good self, or you're a gold whore, whatever type of whore you are, I want to know. Go ahead and leave a comment. Tell me which type of whore you are, silver or gold. Leave that comment in underneath this video. And if you like these, if there's any gold holes out there that like these and want me to make these in in, in gold, y'all need to let me know because I can't just be messing around with new metals if no one if nobody really wants them. I need to know I need someone to say, Shan, I love what you do and I want what you do, but I want it in gold. If someone says that to me If someone says that to me, I will I will do shit. I will make them for you in gold. I will put them in the shop. But y'all gotta let me know. Y'all gotta tell me.